All right, let's talk about a little Bitcoin price action, a little prediction. An article here I found backs up my hunch of what has been going on. So as the big boys start entering the crypto sphere, uh, like the JP Morgans, now remember, JP Morgan, all these big financial houses were anti-Bitcoin. We'll never do this. We'll never do that. Blah, 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 blah. Now all of a sudden, so probably the last part of the middle part of last year, they all start buying in. They all start showing interest in Bitcoin. So I called it. I, I just realized that they they have to get in. Their clients have been begging. Why, why is Junior over here? who's 21 working for me, just made a million bucks in Bitcoin and now doesn't want to work for me anymore. Uh, how can I get in on that stuff? Stuff like that because people are leaving these companies because the, the young guys or the people that see the beauty of crypto, you know, young or old, right? They see the beauty of crypto, they invested it, invest in it. Some go, some go all in, some go partially in, some diversify it, whatever, 10%, whatever. Some are making some bank, right? If they do it right. And then they're going, I don't need to sit at this job, which stands for J-O-B, just over broke, working for someone else, you'll never get rich. You're always going to make them rich because they have the yachts and stuff like that. So these guys are getting wise and they're going, why are my people leaving? I can't get good people to live in the crappy cities and uh, go broke living here, even though I'm paying them a lot of money. So they're going, hey, JP Morgan, I'm one of your rich clients. Get me in some of that Bitcoin action. I want to get me some of that Bitcoin. So that's why I think the price kind of spiked up into December. These uh, big houses have been buying in. And then also on the flip side, there's some whales. You don't know who these guys are, but they can kind of make the price go up and down based on what they sell and buy. Maybe they do wash sales or maybe they're buying and then selling and buying back in like when it was in the 60s and they're dumping it and then they buy back in now at the 40s. You don't know. There, I, I think, you know, there's some guys out there who can control the price of Bitcoin and crypto. And uh, like I said, it's a big club. They have all the coin and you're not in this club. You're just along for the ride. So it is what it is. So I see this article and it kind of hits home because the majority of JP Morgan clients expect Bitcoin to trade at 60K or more by the year end. JP Morgan had to jump in. They had to satisfy their clients. Now their clients are going, like I said, they want a piece of this pie. You know, they're smart people. They are wealthy because they made otherwise investments throughout life and they see the value of cryptocurrency. So now JP Morgan jumped in, the price went up. And now here all the clients are saying, hey, we expect this thing to see 60K. And if you recall, some of these business shows on YouTube are saying 100K by December 31st, 2021. You know, I kind of get nervous when I hear people saying that stuff. Because nobody knows what's going to happen. Nobody knows. Especially when you get the government involved. You can always count on the government to ruin a good thing. That's you can, that's 100%. Oh, my God. What did Reagan say? Some of the scariest words ever spoken are... I'm with the government and I'm here to help. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's, this is a real quick and short. Uh, let's see. JP Morgan said that according to a survey, majority of his clients suspect Bitcoin to trade at 60K or more by the end of this year. The Wall Street giant said in a note published last week that 55% of his clients surveyed see Bitcoin reaching 60K. We just read that. All right. Uh, let's see. Everyone's saying 60K. 5% see it training at above 100K. There's always that hopium. I wanted to trade at a million. Hey, there. I mean, what? It's just words, folks. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Uh, Twenty percent think it'll trade around forty thousand. Then why are you in it? Are these people in it though? If they think it's going to go down, why did they invest in it? I don't know. Who knows, right? Oh, uh, let's see. They're all thinking twenty k. Rival. Dump, dump, dump. Are they really rivals? Come on. The banking guys are all one big happy family. Don't don't buy this rival stuff. Who wrote this? Oh, Coindesk. Okay. Rival investment bank Goldman Sachs wrote in a report earlier this month that Bitcoin's price could increase to over 100,000 schmackaroos if the digital currency share of the store of value market were to rise to 50% over the next five years. That makes no sense. Wrote in a report, the price could increase over... All right. They're not giving, oh, they're saying over the next five years, whereas some people were saying the end of last month, December 2021. All right. 
I mean, you can always put this out here. You know what people put these predictions out there or these financial places like Goldman Sachs? People bury it, it goes down the memory hole. Do you remember when back in 2022, you said it was gonna to go to 100,000 and now it's five years later and it's at $5? <laughs> you know, you just, it just, guys, do your own research. If you believe in the crypto, dollar cost average in, that's the safest bet. So this article is dated January 17, 2022. Bitcoin was trading at about 42,781 as of publication time. Right now, if we check their little ticker at the top on the old CoinDesk site, uh, we are, oh, no, we're trying down yet, 41,655. ETH is at 31,39. Yeah, it's kind of sucking a little bit there. Not too good. Uh, the rest I don't really care about. I get nervous now everyone's buying these altcoins. It's like, I don't know, man. I would stick with the top four just to just to, just to shore up your bets, I guess. Because back in 2017, I bought some of these altcoins and they disappeared with my money. They just went away. Where did my money go? You know, they're stuck on these exchanges or are they in my wallet? And I don't. The coin is useless. It's sitting in my wallet. It's like, what is this thing? I don't know how to do move it, where to put it. And uh, even if you have some of these coins, like I have one of this, one of this coin called Dragon Coin. And uh, just to move it, it's an ERC token. What a joke. It's like, say you have, like I say, you have $100 in coin on this thing. It's going to cost you 50 bucks in Ethereum to move it. I'm like, oh my God, come on, Ethereum. That, that the, the whole Ethereum token crap. I know, I, I just think when they go to statement of work, or proof of work, proof of stake, <laughs> I'll get it right, yeah, POS. I always think POS, meaning something else, so it applies to Ethereum, right? So when they go to POS, I just think all the support for Ethereum, all the organic free advertising that they've been getting from the community, from miners who love it, because they're making some money off it, even though those fees are incredibly high, I think it's all gonna go away. Pretty much it's like, it's like, oh, all right, that's over. It's like the Truman Show. Show's ended. Let's go to the next one. And they're going to pick a new favorite coin that people can uh, prosper off and support and get behind. So that's on my radar when Ethereum goes to POS and I'm holding Ethereum. Uh, I think now you can set stop loss holders on some of these exchanges. You might want to do that. Like say Ethereum is trading at 5,000 bucks and it's going to go to proof of stake. Set your comfortable stop loss so you don't lose everything. When people just say, eh, who cares about Ethereum anymore? That's just my guess. That's my spidey sense. I may be wrong, which I most likely am. Stuff going on. People are supporting Bitcoin. People are positive on Bitcoin. Seeing 60K again and maybe 100K in five years. You just don't know. I hate doing this price prediction stuff, but it's kind of funny to see the takeaway is that the big boys have clients chiming in and answering surveys and putting their input into crypto when a year or two ago they had no idea what it was so that's my takeaway versus what who cares what the price prediction is just reading between the lines that these guys jp uh, jp morgan and goldman sachs actually are talking about cryptocurrency and before they shunned away for it they stayed away for it and they were kind of just not into it uh, the only one that was into it was fidelity which is amazing so there you go thanks for watching i'll talk to y'all later